टू दिस चैनल फार्मेसी इंटरनेशनल माई नेम इज़ नताशा एंड टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो इज़ द प्रोसेस टू बिकम रजिस्टर्ड फार्मेसी टेक्नीशियन इन कैनेडा सो मैनी पीपल हैव आस्क मी दैट वट वी कैन डू इफ़ वी हैव अ डिप्लोमा इन फार्मेसी फ्राम इंडिया सो दैट्स अ गुड न्यूज़ फॉर द पीपल हु आर होल्डिंग द डिप्लोमा इन फार्मेसी और टू ईयर डिप्लोमा इन फार्मेसी फ्राम इंडिया सो यू आर एलिजिबल फॉर दी फार्मेसी टेक्नीशियन इन कैनेडा On PEBC website, there are different procedures for different persons. So let's say there are number one direct entry candidates. So direct entry candidates means number one those who have done their degree from Canada or US. Number two those who have done or who have passed their PEBC uh, evaluating examination, or those who have done their degree from CCAPP. That is a Canadian Council of Accreditation for Pharmacy Program. So, if the people have done those programs from CCAPP, it means they are eligible for direct entry candidate process. There is different pathway for indirect entry candidates. So, indirect entry candidates have two step process. Number one step is confirmation and authenticity of your identity as well as your documents. So, there is a particular eligibility program survey. You have to fill that survey, and there is a link for the same. what i will do i will put a link in the description box so you guys can go to that link and you can see what sort of documents are required for this eligibility survey so the study requirement for indirect candidate so number 1 if you have done your diploma in pharmacy related programs so make sure certifications in pharmacy related programs are not eligible for the pharmacy technician pathway number 2 in case you are eligible for you were eligible for pebc pharmacist examination but because of any reasons you couldn't appear in the pebc uh, examinations for the pharmacist so yeah you can go for the pebc pharmacy technician examination let's say you couldn't pass your pebc evaluating examination in your fourth attempt that is the last attempt then you are eligible for the pebc pharmacy technician examination but make sure the time when you are going to apply for pebc technician examination and the fourth attempt there is a gap of maximum of 3 years if your fourth attempt is done more than 3 years then you are not eligible for the pharmacy technician exams as well place of residence so this is another requirement for indirect candidates so place of residence must be canada or it should be within 3 years so the person should be in canada in the last 3 year when they are going to apply for their examination from the date of your arrival in canada you have 3 years to appear in pebc pharmacy technician examination so let's say you are arriving in 2022 so you have time till 2025 second step is assessment of the portfolio so there is a specific link for the same i will share the link in the description box the portfolio assessment itself have three part number one is competency development in this particular section you have to show or you have to fill the forms with the help of your transcripts and you have to show how you can develop the skills as well as knowledge in order to practice in day to day life of the canadian pharmacy number 2 is frequency of practice means this is a platform it is a self assessed platform you have to put a form you have to fill a form that form is not marked but with the help of this form you will come to know how comfortable you are in whatsoever areas or day to day practice in canadian pharmacy so the name indicates frequency of practice in canadian pharmacy number 3 scope of practice scenarios so in this particular section you have to fill or you have to describe or make a description how you will handle your situations in canadian pharmacy how you can handle the situation according to your professional judgment you have to make a complete or brief description for the same and pbc have right so they can randomly call any of the person or either via call or email they can ask you for the further interview processes for the same as well i know it's a big lengthy process but it's a good news for many of the people who were asking me that what can i do if i have a diploma in my home country so that's a good news for those people so once you are done with all those steps and all obviously the second step is qualifying examination it's same for candidates who are direct entry as well as indirect entry so the qualifying examination itself have two parts mcq as well as ospi both part of the qualifying examination mcq as well as ospi have three attempts if you couldn't pass in three attempts you could ask for the remediation from the board that the remediation should be board approved so if you have the board approved remediation you can go for the fourth attempt as well so once you are done with all those processes the document evaluation or the international process then qualifying examination then you have to go to the particular province website provinces have different requirements so you have to see in which province you want to go for the pharmacy technician license examination 
there could be different different requirements let's say ielts requirement or training requirements the requirements are different for the different provinces so i would say just go to different province or specific province in which you want to go you can see proper recommendation as well as requirements for the same hope you found this video quite informative if you like this video please do subscribe my channel if you have any question you can ask in comment section box and thank you for watching this video have a good day